By show of hands, how many people here have suffered a significant personal loss in your life? Wow. Thank you. I'm blessed enough to be able to speak to small groups, to large groups, and it always seems to be about 80 or 90% of the people in the room raise their hand. Mr. Brooke, we've been working on your wife for an hour and a half, and we still don't have any heartbeat. Would you like us to continue? And I remember just pinching my skin and just going, I'm just a little guy trying to get through life. I've got to raise these two boys. It really comes down to your perspective and how you look at something, and we have a choice in our life. I call myself the gratitude guy. If you frame your life around being grateful, focusing on what you have versus what you don't have, it tends to work a little bit better. It takes as long as it takes. Wherever you are right now is exactly where you're supposed to be. And in the words of Winston Churchill, never, ever, ever, ever give up. You've got to get rid of junk in your brain. You cannot let your body get filled with stuff. Now, how many have ever heard of a gratitude journal? Wow. If you think about it, it's like a dream. If you talk about it, it inspires you. But if you write about it, it empowers you. It makes such a huge difference. I believe that everybody on this planet wants to at some point find their purpose. But you got to start with what you're passionate about. You're going to either text, telephone, tell, or tweet. Most people text. To somebody in your life right now, you're grateful for having them in your life. Go, I'll give you 60 seconds. His stories are terrific, very relevant and relatable to events, happenings, things that go on in our life. But just make it really poignant and services the importance of keeping those really important people around you, close to you, and, and letting them know how much you feel about them at, at those critical times. That was really, really important. So thanks, Dave. Happiness starts with gratitude, keynote presentation. There's some great exercises. First of all, the you are card, which gives you such a great view of how somebody else sees you beyond how you see yourself. Number two, the red paper challenge, a way of clearing out clutter and things in your brain that don't belong there. Number three, the 60 second gratitude card, just takes one minute to that gratitude get into your brain and see how it works. And finally, the four T's, a great way to communicate your gratitude and appreciation to those around you. That's four of the exercises which are really, really fun to get the engagement from the group. David, thank you so much for making the annual holiday party of mainstream media so special. Your message was right on target. You tore at our heartstrings with your tremendous story, and then you gave us calls to action. You inspired a room full of people with developmental disabilities and their families. Just a perfect delivery and a perfect message for a great evening, and thank you so much for the help that you gave us last night. I don't know if you can truly be happy, in my opinion, unless you're grateful. I believe if you know yourself really well, you find your passion, you'll find your purpose. I always point to my shoes and I go, I'm not teaching out of some book. I walk down this path. You get a gratitude journal. Good job, Thank sir. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your service. text says, I'm grateful for you too. What do you want? 